Hello, I'm Kara from the Hooting Pirate and I just want to talk to you today a little bit about the different sizes of planners so that you can make better choices of what suits your needs better. So I've got um, sort of a variety of sizes, but first I just want to talk about um, sizing and what they mean. So this is a normal um, 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and this is a 4. Now this is sort of the standard for um, I think basically everywhere <laughs> but uh, North America and you can see that it's a little bit taller and a little bit narrower than the 8.5 by 11. And this is called A4 and why I'm telling you this is because in the planner world there's an A5 size and basically what that is is just half of an A4 page. Now um, the actual dimensions are 21 by 14.8 centimeters or 8.27 by 5.83 inches. Um, so for example this is my planner that I use and I actually use a, um, A4 paper and then stitched down the middle. So this is a this is um, an actual true A5 page but this is the A5 Carpe Diem and you'll see that the pages, I'll take it out so you can have a better look. Let me get one that's not see-through. Um, you can see that the page it's a little wider than, eight, than true A5 but I think if you take the holes out of the picture, like if you don't count the holes, this is, that would be A5. So you have to take into consideration that um, if they say A5, they don't mean the actual specific dimensions because this is the um, this is the commit 30 and it's the exact same planner as this but I printed these myself and you can see that it's it's a bit wider um, if you go from here all the way to and it's basically you cut off this much is too it's this much too big but then again you have the rings so if you count that if you take those into consideration it's it's closer to a5 than um, than if you count the rings so that's a5. Um, and then the next thing is personal. This one's over here. This is the color crush, and these are personal size pages. And you can see the difference. Oops. They're quite a lot um, smaller. They're not as, they're almost as tall. There's only about an inch difference in the height. Um, but then again, there's more than probably an inch and a half in width. So let me find a page that has room to write. So the boxes and squares, this is like a monthly. Um, view the boxes and squares are going to be a lot smaller and you won't have as much room to write as you will with an A5. Okay now last up is pockets. This is my uh, wallet slash on the go errand runner type planner and you can see these pages are teeny weeny. Let me compare to the pocket size. Um, so these are pretty small but I like this because it's compact and of course it fits in my purse. Um, so I just wanted to say one more thing about the A5 versus personal. This is A5. You can see that the book, the actual planner cover, is not much wider than the books. Like um, these ones are, that one's actually small. This is a true, this one's a true A5. If you go from the center to the end, it's just a little bit, maybe a centimeter or so bigger than, than A5. So you get the compact book, but the A5 size pages, whereas um, this one, the height is about the same, but then you've got this much extra in rings on the width. But then if you compare it to the A5 Carpe Diem, there's quite quite a big difference in size. This A5 planner book is just slightly bigger than the personal sized um, color crush. So there you have it. Let's line these babies up a little bit maybe. Um, and there you go, lots of different uh, sizes for you to choose from. I know it's a tough decision, but hopefully this, um, this video helped. And if you want some more information on how to choose your, your planner, the best planner for you, check out the hootingpirate.com. The links will be below. And there's a planner, I have a planner series there for newbie planner girls. So check it out. All right, take care.